Hi everyone, this is Phil from Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the canoe in Arc Genesis Part 2. Arc Genesis 2 has finally been released, and with it comes a lot of new content and equipment, and the piece of equipment we're going to look at right now is the first one that would be available to you, and that is the canoe, which I'm riding right here. It is a sleek little thing, isn't it? In order to get the canoe, you're going to go to your engrams, and it unlocks at level 8, which is really, really easy to get, and in order to craft it, all you'll need is some fiber, hide, thatch, and wood. You can craft the canoe in your inventory, and when you've done so you just place it into the water just as you would a raft and there you have it a canoe now one of the nice things about the canoe is it actually has three places for you to sit that if you can get in the darn thing there we go you can sit in the rear the center or in the front I'm just gonna sit in the center in this case and if you have two other friends with you which I don't at the moment but if you did have more friends with you uh, you could all be paddling the boat at the same time and it would indeed go faster than it does right now but honestly Part of the canoe is just how chill it is. Like, just take that in. If you have difficulty getting into the other seats of the canoe, you can do so by going to the Passenger Seats tab of the Context Wheel. You do so by holding E by default on PC to get to that Context Wheel. And here you see I am now sitting in the rear seat. Another wonderful feature of the canoe is that it acts as a sort of pseudo-preserving bin for meats. So here I've got some fish meat and some fish prime meat. And again, I'm going to go into the context wheel of the canoe and go to access inventory. And I'm going to place the meats in there. And what you'll see is that their spoil time is much longer than the spoil time if it was just in your inventory. As a matter of fact, it's exactly the same spoil time as you would get in a preserving bin. But the canoe does not require spark powder. So at least for fish meat, this is a great way of holding on to meat uh, for a long, long time. Another feature of the canoe is that you can go to the context menu, select options, and change name. That's right, you can give your canoe a name just like you could a raft. Another handy feature of the canoe is that you can pick it back up after you've placed it into the water. And you do so by going to the context wheel and clicking pick up canoe. And once you've picked it up, I was kind of hoping you'd be holding it over your head for like a proper portage. But sadly, no such luck. No, it is uh, escaped into that little pocket dimension that you keep your inventory in. But once you go to another site, you can, of course, then just place it into the water as you did before. Another great trick of the canoe is the fact that you can fish off of it. So if you've got a fishing rod and some bait, feel free to cast your line into the water and reel in a fish. Now the fish meat will not go into the canoe's inventory by default, which would have been really slick, but uh, sadly no, it's just in your inventory. So do make sure to place it into the canoe. Finally, the last trick of the canoe is as you're coming up to a beach, you can hold left control on PC, and if you continue to paddle forward a little bit, you will actually beach the canoe. Now, this is mostly cosmetic, but honestly, it's a really nice little touch. If you have any more tips about, about the canoe, tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there!